padlock yako let me tell you kifuli chako pastor harrison pastor harrison i can take your padlock naweza chukua padlock yako this mantle ni ni twanishe and make sure na hakikishe that the key that was opening ya kwamba ufungua ambao ulikuwa unaifungua will not open haitafungua tena because there is a mystery inside the padlock kwa sababu kuna siri iliyositirika kwa kifuli chenyewe This is what I want you to understand. Hivi ndivyo ningelipenda kila mmoja apate kuelewa leo. The mysteries of the kingdom. Siri za ufalme wa Mungu. They don't operate by your thinking. Asifanyi kazi kwa taratibu ya kuelewa kwako kwa mawazo. But you allow the power to work in your spirit. Lakini unaruhusu nguvu zake zifanye kazi katika roho yako. If you do that, ukifanya hivyo, breakthrough is going to come. Basi upenyo utakuandama. I want to say to you, ningependa kusema kwako, just like Pharaoh, kama vile Pharaoh released the children of Israel, aliwachilia wana wa Israeli unconditionally pasipo masharti and they never returned wasiwai kama rudi to egypt nchi ya utumwa misri so is god about to do a thing today ndivyo bwana atakavyofanya jambo leo that is going to be permanent litakwenda kuwa ni jambo la kudumu i want you to bow down your head nataka uinamisha uso wako because this is not for everybody maana jambo hili sio la kila mtu I want any one of you nataka kila mmoja wenu that has a situation yeye aliye na hali ya kwa that is a difficult situation ambao ni hali sugu ni hali ngumu looking at it is so difficult for you as a person ukiangalia ni ngumu mno kama mtu binafsi ukitizama I want you right now nataka hivi sasa wewe to speak to that situation uzungumzie hiyo hali wewe mwenyewe and tell that situation uiambie hiyo hali you're letting me go today unaniruhusu nikutoke leo i'm getting out of you today natoka kwako leo if it is a debt kama ni deni if it is a situation kama ni hali fulani i don't care how long it has oppressed you ajalishi kitambo gani imekaa kwako i don't care how long it has you have had to wait sijali imekubidi umesubiri muda gani didn't the lord promise us this morning jesus bwana alitoa hivi asubuhi ya leo he is going to recover the wasted here kwamba ataregesha kwetu miaka ile Didn't he say he's going to roll away the shame? Bwana kusema kwamba tevingirisha aibu yetu. That was not something that was planned. Sio jambo liliopangwa mpendwa. Is the Lord that released that word? Ni Mungu aliachilia neno hilo. When worship was going on. Wakati ibada ilikuwa inaendelea. So I want you to open your mouth. Nataka ufungue kinywa chako kila mmoja. Speak to that situation right now. Izungumzie hali yako sasa wewe. Break up and shut the Bible. So that as we partake of the Lord's table. Ili tuwepo shiriki meza ya Bwana. We would direct the power power of the blood to tell the kesa nguvu za damu we would direct the power of the blood to tell the kesa nguvu za damu ya yesu to that situation kwa hiyo hali at that particular day na katika siku hiyo the power was directed nguvu iliachiliwa to the first bonds in israel kwa wazaliwa wa kwanza wa misri all destroyed wote wakangamizwa and god say mungu akasema and again is the gods of egypt na dhidi ya miungu ya wa misri i will execute judgment nitachilia hukumu yangu kwa sababu bwana i want you to direct today nataka waelekeza leo the power of the blood nguvu za damu to a particular line kwa mwelekeo fulani you need breakthrough ambao unahitaji upenyo to a particular line kwa mwelekeo fulani that you've tried with your own understanding umejaribu kwa fahamu zako you've tried with your own money umejaribu kwa hela zako i want you to direct it right now nataka waelekeza nguvu za damu sasa please every one of you tafadhali kila mmoja na nisikia i want you to pray nataka uo i want you to say in the name of jesus nataka The blood will speak for me today. The blood will cancel. Death in my life. Barrenness in my life. Barrenness in my career. Stagnation in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, and in this mountain. Oh, in this mountain. The Lord desires that there be a celebration. I want to remind you when the Lord brought victory in the house of Israel Egypt was crying but there was celebration in the house of Israel there will be celebration in your marriage there will be celebration in your finances in that thing 
that you believe in God above. If it's favor, ask for it. And listen, I want you to ask for that hard thing. That difficult thing that you think is too difficult. That's what I want you to ask right now. When you have done that, when you have done that, I want the ministers to come here and help me in the name of Jesus. Listen, when it comes to the Lord's table, you do not have to be a member of Victor's Chapel. Because this is not the table of William. It is not the table of Victor's Chapel. It is the table of the Lord. We serve a universal God. He is the King of Kings. And he is the Lord of Lords. And I want you to be ready. As you partake of that cup. Jesus said. Do this in remembrance of me. Remind me of my death. Why should we remind him of his death? It is not that we may cry. It is not that we may mourn. On Jesus. But it is because it is by the death of Jesus that we enjoy our breakthrough. That we enjoy the forgiveness of sin. It is by the blood of Jesus and the death of Jesus on the cross that we receive our healing. He said it is finished when he shed his blood. He was repeating the very words that God the Father had spoken. And he said, when he lets you go, he will let you go completely. There will be no guesswork. There will be no guesswork. Father, we thank you. The blood of the goats was able to bring deliverance and victory to the children of Israel. Father, Baba, we are in a better covenant. The covenant of the blood of Jesus. Which is a better covenant. Jesus, you say, this is the new covenant that is in my blood. Right now, I pray in the name of Jesus. Because in the new covenant, there is our healing. There is our breakthrough. Our promotion. Lord, in the New Testament, we are supposed to enjoy life and enjoy it in abundance. Therefore, I pray today as we partake of this cup, we enter and seal our covenant. Therefore, anything else that is not part of our covenant covenant, the enemy of our covenant, sickness and failure, frustration and anything else, is swallowed today, is broken today, is today, in the name of Jesus, sickness will die, frustrations will die, let them drive from the roots, and let someone enjoy completeness to the glory and to the honor of your name. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, thank you. That you gave your body for us. And when you took the bread, you broke the bread. And you say, take this. This is my body. Broken up for you. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your body for us. That by your stripes, we are already healed. I Thank you because of that covenant. And I pray in Jesus' name. After today, we will enjoy the breakthrough that went through your body. They stripped you naked. 
to assure you that we may never suffer shame. You spoke to us today that your people will never be ashamed. Father, I pray that as we partake your body today, if anyone is in this place that was in the verge of shame, if anything was trying to bring shame, fight it today. But the mystery of the body of Christ, so as we partake of it, Lord, we do it by faith. It is by your body they beat you. And your word says, by the stripes of Jesus, we have received our healing. Therefore, as we partake this mystery, let anyone that is sick receive their healing. For we hold more and better than any medicine. Father, you promised that the blood shall be a token to us in every generation. And you said when you see the blood, you will judge the gods of Egypt. Father, Baba, let there be judgment against any oppression that the enemy has tried to bring in our lives. To the glory, to the honor of your name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want you to go and serve. I want you to go and take it. In the name of Jesus. And I want you to know that whatever you will be holding right there, some of you will get immediate answers. Some of you, after you leave this service, and I want you to mark my words, there's someone in this service that after you leave this service, something new will completely happen in your life. There's someone here you will receive a call. That call will transform your life positively forever. In the name of Jesus, the whole of this week, I said the whole of this week, prisons will be opening up. I said prisons will be opening up to let you go. To let you go. I said the whole of this week, please understand and hear this very well. The whole of this week, Lord. We will enjoy breakthrough every day. So I want us to be prayerful this week. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to claim that breakthrough. I want you to claim the thing you desire. In the name of Jesus. I want you to claim it by force. In the name of Jesus. It was in that place that God spoke to the children of Israel. And he said, say to them, even the dogs will not back at you. While you believe in this land, while you will believe in Egypt, even the dogs will not back at you. In other words, nothing will challenge the breakthrough that the Lord is going to bring through the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, if, if, if the blood of God could do that, then how much more the blood of Jesus Christ, how much more I can assure you this week will be a week of testimony. This week you will celebrate bring up Please, I want you to go read the word we were given this morning again. Let 
that was in Joel chapter number 2 from verses number 18 please go read that again that was a prophetic word I wish you catch it go and read it again go and speak it in your life because you're partaking of the blood what you're doing is like what the children of Israel did putting the blood on the rentals of their houses and allow God to do the rest allow to do allow God to do the rest allow God to open those doors some of you will enjoy favors you have never enjoyed this is a good week to ask for connections this is a good week to ask for favor oh rest at again because the Lord said to them go to your neighbors ask for gold ask for silver listen to me if you understand prophetic things this is a good week to ask for favor to ask a thing you desire it shall be given to you it's gonna come upon your life the Lord's gonna fight it for you how is it gonna happen it's a mystery you don't need to understand it it's a ministry it's a mystery all you need claim for it speak it in your mouth confess it in your mouth in the name of Jesus when you have it in your hand when you have it in your hand I want you to thank God in the name of Jesus Father we thank you for the power of the blood Father we thank you for the victory of the blood right now in the name of Jesus 